good morning friends uh, do you want to know how we can install windows on macbook pro yeah it is quite possible at free uh, there are two ways uh, through which we can install windows on macbook i will show you live how we can install and it's very easy you don't need any uh, license software to go for it you can install it free now here you can see this here you can follow the steps uh, you can see uh, installing windows on macbook uh, is for free it's very easy how can we do it i am just going to show you uh there are two ways uh, through which you can install windows one way uh, you can use through boot, uh, boot camp another way you can use through vmware pro uh the uh, boot camp will uh, enable a dual booting where on the one side you can uh, use windows and uh, and uh, after booting you can you can run uh, macbook os apple os but in vmware pro you can run uh, both the operating system parallelly i will show you how uh, let us uh, let us show you a demonstration uh, how how we can install both now uh, let me show you now uh, boot camp if you want to see boot camp you can go to a search button here and you can find a boot camp option you can find a boot camp boot camp this is a boot camp now once you click on boot camp you go to go to continue and uh, it will help you out to install uh, windows now this is a common procedure now the second procedure which i am going to tell you here is through vmware pro now what do you need for it you need uh, uh, two license software that you got it for free to this is one uh, vm vmware fusion and the another is windows 10 image file iso file i think we can get it easily if anybody doesn't find it he can go to my description part he can get a link or they can contact me now once you have these softwares in your macbook even you can download it uh, you can uh, install vmware fusion fast once vmware fusion is installed like this you can see vmware fusion is installed and you can see once we have vmware fusion is installed it is taking some memory it is taking some memory here it is taking around 44.5 gb right now which out of my 256 gb of apple os memory uh, i assigned 60 gb to uh, vmware pro and my windows 10 is installed now you can see both operating systems are working parallelly on the one side on the back end side once i minimize it you have an apple os once you maximize it you have windows now let me run windows how you can run windows now you can play and you can run my windows is starting now zoom you have both the operating systems now one you can even transfer files you can even transfer files you can copy paste from mac os to windows like if you want to copy this file a license file or maybe if you want any other file if you want this ppt presentation you can click on copy you can click on copy copy and you can you can go to my windows and you can go to c drive and you can click on paste no see so now you have uh, you can interchange file between windows and mac it's very easy uh, so while installing vmware vmware pro you may guide you may be given an option to uh, work both the file systems together even this is pretty easy uh, as you can see i can run i can run uh, n number of softwares i can run 
I can run my software, I can, I can install MS Office on Windows, and I, which, uh, what all softwares are not running on Mac OS, I can install in Windows. So I have a benefit to, inst uh, to work both the operating system parallelly. Uh, in case uh, you are done with the Windows, you can, uh, you can uh, terminate this uh, virtual machine for VMware where Windows is installed. And you can close it. Here you have you are with Mac OS. So this is pretty easy, guys. Uh, so in case you have any queries, uh, you can get in touch uh, with me on my YouTube channel. I can help you out how can, how you can install them. Uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.